Check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Casper here, and welcome back to another TF2 item trivia video. Today we're looking at item sets in TF2 and some of the cooler stories behind them. So let's get straight into it with the very first item sets that were added into TF2, which came with the Man Economy update back in September 2010. Now these sets actually got created as part of a competition that Valve ran alongside the modeling community called Polycount. The competition basically was to design the best models, sets of models, so hats and weapons together, and then the winners were ultimately added to the game. Originally, five sets were added to the game. One for Scout, called the Milkman, the Tank Buster for Soldier, the Gas Jockey's Gear for Pyro, the Crocker Style Kit for Sniper, and the Saharan Spy for the Spy. In Christmas of the same year, three more sets were added, again, from the Poly Count competition. These weren't the original winners, but they were considered so good that they ended up getting added to the game anyway. And this is the Expert's Ordinance for Demo Man, the Hibernating Bear for Heavy, and the Med Evil Medic for The Medic. And yes, that does mean that the poor old engineer was the only guy who didn't get a set from this competition. Now these sets are particularly interesting because they still exist in the game today, but when they were originally added, they all did something very special and there's almost nothing like it since. And if you wore all the items from this set, so that's three weapons and a hat, then you got actual stat changes to your weapon. So for example, if we were to look at the Saharan spy set, at the time, if you wore the gun, the knife, and the hat, you would get reduced decloak sound volume. And I remember this now, and it was almost silent, even with the dead ringer. But there was also another attribute where it was 0.5 second longer cloak blink time. Just another example was the milkman set for the scout. So that was the shortstop, the milk, the fish, and the uh, milkman hat, that would give you plus 25% max health on wearer. And that one had no negative. Now, as you can see, obviously this sounds a bit like pay to win. All of a sudden, your ability or your skills or your attributes are based on a cosmetic item. So even though you could get this item freely from a drop or from trading or whatever, you would be at an advantage by wearing a hat versus someone who wasn't. And that's not very TF2. But it wasn't actually until 2013 that Valve released an update that removed these set bonuses. They explained that obviously this would be slightly overpowered, or potentially if you're not using the full set, then a weapon could be underpowered. And it just sort of put the whole balance idea into big question marks. For those reasons, they ultimately got rid of any sort of attribute changes that happen. Instead, now, if you're using most of the sets, you just leave what's called a calling card. I don't really know why they call it that, but it actually looks a little bit like a gravestone. However, with the spy set, when you taunt, it does this sort of weird little unusual effect. So essentially what they've done, they've made these things which are dependent on a cosmetic item, completely cosmetic, which is, in my opinion, definitely the right approach. You can go for this cosmetic thing if you want it. Whether you want it or not, it's not affecting anyone's competitive advantage. Throughout the years, there's been many more sets added to the game. Some of them have weapons with them, but not all of them. Some of them are purely hat and misc sets. And you can see an example of the few of them here. A lot of these sets are going to be community contributed sets. So if you ever look on the workshop, you'll often see that there's an item someone has designed and it's got another item in the same style or the same theme. So quite often what has happened to you when these items have been added to the game, multiple items from those sets designed have been added. So if you're lucky enough to get an item added to the game, you might actually be lucky enough to get multiple added to the game if you do something cool with the style and Valve just happens to pick them. Now I did mention earlier that Valve have removed all the attribute bonuses from sets, but there is one exclusion to that, or oh, I guess you could call it two exclusions. It's the Isolated Merc and the Isolationist Pack. Now the Isolationist Pack is for the Scout and the Isolated Merc is for the Pyro. And these are of course based on the Alien franchise, primarily from the game Alien Isolation. And the good thing about these sets is that they only affect one another. And it's quite simple that anyone who's wearing the entire Pyro set will do more flamethrower damage to the Scout and anyone who's wearing the Scout set will do more melee damage to the Pyro. So you can see why this is a bit more balanced out than the sets that got removed in the past, or rather the set bonuses that got removed, because these only affect one another, and it's also a little bit of a joke sort of thing that plays within the lore of Alien, because obviously you're the guy fighting the Alien, but the Alien's got like super close range strength. That's the concept. 
Now, when I started talking about item sets, the first things that probably came to your mind was the Halloween item sets, because there is a lot of these. A lot of them are Halloween restricted, which means you can only wear them during a full moon or during Halloween. And a lot of them are quite ridiculous, like they turn you into complete animals, like literally animals. But what you may not be aware of is that a few of these actually have unique customizations, cosmetic changes beyond just how you visibly look. For example, if you wear the entire of the Highland Hound set for the Demo Man, you'll actually do a howl like a wolf taunt. And if you wear the entirety of the Tin Soldier set, not only do you get additional voice lines for the soldier that sound like this, I am a robot. I am here to take American jobs. But soldier will also be able to do the robot dance taunt. And in true TF2 fashion, there is some interesting random hidden sets and that's because you'll see here if I'm not wearing the entirety of the set it still tells me what other items in this set and what bonus wearing the entire set would give me but if you equip the huntsman and the fruit shoot all of a sudden you're going to unlock a hidden effect reduces the chance of hunger by up to 13 percent Obviously, it is a joke, guys. It doesn't actually change your character's hunger. There is another one. Unfortunately, I don't have both the items for it. It's called Eliminating the Impossible, and it's for Medic, and it reduces mystery solving time by up to 88%. Again, a funny little thing that just appears in game and doesn't have any actual effect, but it's all there for the TF2 universe. The reason we love this game so much is because it's got so much character, and it's these little things like this that all add up to make TF2 what it is. So those are the interesting things about item sets, guys. On screen right now is another hat trivia video I've done. Go check that out if you haven't seen it already. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you very soon.